I have a lighting system and I can do operation on the lighting. So I am doing operation on the lighting. Lighting on. Lighting off. Lighting on. Lighting off. So the we are uh, kind of we can do operation on the lighting system and uh, on and off. But behind the scene, how it is done? So this is state design. Means there is a class which provide a system and then operation on it. But behind the scene, how these operations are being executed? So that is the back end of the uh, front end. So generally, I could have done like a switch. Then the switch on and off. We could have mixed everything. Okay. So operation and then toggling of the switch. And then inside the when we toggle the switch, then we do the logic. So logic part and then operation part. Everything we could have mixed up. But we see the design pattern as a state design pattern. Where the operation part. So if I have an kind of entity like lighting system it has operation on and off that's it client is using the lighting system and he does calling on and off but behind the scene how the logic is implemented how the uh, switch is implemented how the state of the switch are implemented all logic is going a separate design pattern called state design so this is the kind of front class or the class which provides the operation. This is backend class which is state design pattern. And this class provides the operation internally. It uses the state design pattern, state class for its operation. This is containment and it falls state design pattern falls under uh, uh, falls under uh, so there is a creation of a structure and behavioral design pattern. So it falls under behavior design pattern because the front class provide behaviors to be used, provide functions to be used, but internally it is it uses state design pattern. That's it. So we are we are providing only it's a kind of uh, uh, we can again say it's a kind of adapter where we have uh, but it's, we are not placing it in any similar design. State is a, a peculiar design. So we have a, we have a, a class that provides set of methods and someone can use the method but internally it maintains a state that state is defined by a state interface class. So here in here we have two states on and off a switch can be on and off. So I have a class called a state and with that I have uh, two kind of uh, uh, derived classes switch on and switch off what this state would provide the template method what the state would provide the method so state so i have a light class it provide operation these operations will have equal mapping exact mapping in the state because whatever we are doing it would delegate the call to the state class now state class is the interface class and with that, it is it is kind of have template method. So if it has a method called on and off, it state also has on and off. If I call on, then it calls the states on, passing itself as this pointer as the as the parameter. So here on has no parameter, but here on will have a parameter which will take pointer to the light class. Okay, on off will have parameter which will take pointer of the light class now in the state the state interface class there are two derived classes switch on and switch off switch on and switch off will implement on and off switch on will implement on and off switch off will implement on and off the way they are interface class so they would realize now switch on would work if i off is called and switch off will work if on is called on it will bypass and switch off the class will bypass the off so this is state design so i have lighting system on and off are operations and it maintains a state okay state is state interface class 
with with the same function on and off there also on and off but here on and off to take parameter okay as the lighting and now it has derived classes concrete classes switch on and switch off okay and these classes would implement on and off on and off okay now how it is done this is so uh, you can go to our youtube channel about section and see the uh, web page and there we have design pattern in Perl and C++ with disclosure also. So there you can refer a state design pattern. So that is a concept. Now if someone is calling lighting, lighting on, okay. So light will have a state by default. So if I bring in, so it is in a state called off. So I have to switch it on, on I have to switch it on, okay. So the lighting will have a state. So lighting has three things, two operations on and off. And there is another operation called set state. Set state, I can pass a kind of a state, state object that will be state. So I would say that it has a um, attribute called state and three methods on and off. So these two methods are given to the client and then it has a kind of uh, uh, may not be physical private but it's private it may not be exposed as function as set state so it has attribute called state so at the beginning state can be switch on and switch off because that is the interface class that is a state class so switch on and switch off there are two states so in the state pointer of the lighting we can assign a, a instance of switch on or switch off so at the beginning, we have assigned switch off. So the light is switch off. If someone say on, then whatever the state it has, has. So right now the state is switch off, and switch off derived derived from a state interface class. So in that fashion, it has to implement on and off. Now I am saying on. So on in the lighting system will will function will get called. And internally, whatever the state it belongs to. So state right now pointer car is carrying the switch off uh, object. So switch off objects on will get called inside the on. So this is little different. That's why I say it is not a matching design pattern. Mm -hmm. So if state interface has derived classes, each derived classes know each other. So if a state uh, interface has switch on and switch off. Switch and no switch off and switch off no switch off. So that is analogy something that we have to understand. Now if I say off means in the light, off simply whatever a state object it carries, it calls off. So a state it is carrying is light off, switch off, it goes to switch off and call the off, passing this as its own pointer. Now there, okay, so it is a so it sorry, I say switch on. So switch on goes to, I say off, uh, on, on in the lighting, on goes to on function in the, in the switch off. In the switch off on, what it does is, okay, so this pointer anyway, lighting pointer, it receives in lighting pointer, either it can change its states to itself or it can call set state, okay. So lighting has a attribute called a state. And it has a function called set state. So either it can change the attribute of the state to, to a class object that is switch on. So there is a class called state. So there, there are two derived classes, switch on and switch off, or on state or off state. Whatever. So I'm calling switch on and switch off. Again, the switch off on function, I am passing lighting as the parameter lighting pointer. So again, the lighting where state is an attribute, it will change the state to switch on instance and whatever state right now it will delete. Okay. So in the lighting, the state implicitly, the state object through state pointer implicitly change to switch on state. Okay. Now the light is glowing. Now someone say on again. So if you say on again, again the switch on, on is called and it won't do anything because it is already on. If someone calls off, okay, then it will go to switch on off. Inside the switch on off, 
we have the lighting uh, lighting object as parameter there okay so there in the lighting state attribute it will change it to new object it will create new object you can keep in a registry of the switch off and it will delete switch on object so it will then change the object so switch lighting class has a state pointer that points to an object that object keep changing okay and who is changing that that is changed by switch on and switch off classes or objects that derive from a state and they keep doing new new and delete whatever you did so lighting system has a state attribute an on and off operation against on and off operation whatever state is there that states on and off get called when they're on and off get called that is switch on and switch off they change this state object to another object as per the scenario so this is peculiar thing state design pattern has so state design pattern have one uh, kind of uh, uh, one entity that is facing that line it provide operation and then operation is mapped to the state class interface class and those operations are realized by their derived classes and against those operations all derived classes they know each other but against on and off they take pointer to the to the to the, to the class that is facing the client and against the pointer they okay so again the pointer that is that which keep the state they keep changing the state object itself and keep deleting whatever is right now so state doesn't typically doesn't match to any design pattern so it is a uh, uh, if i say uh, design pattern that do not match anything the state design pattern will come and chain of response that will see so please use careful state we keep deleting whatever object the light is carrying and we are introducing new object in its state uh, member variable so it can be done through state state function also or it can be done directly so that is the state design pattern but it is highly useful so you can see the website calculator uh, we have implemented using a state design pattern where calculator faces the client and a state has four state as multiplication division subtraction and addition through which someone can do the calculation through state design pattern in the perl uh, code perl code that can be seen through disclosure there we have full escalator the lift so lift maintains various state and and then the entity that keeps the lift so their state keep changing as per the like it has reached to a floor or it is moving or whatsoever overloaded and those kind of things so that can be seen use it use it carefully